One of the goals of the IntelliDoc software is to reduce the amount of paper you have to deal with, but there will still be some times when you need to print something out. If you haven't told IntelliDocs what printers you want to use for the different kinds of information you can print from IntelliDocs, you'll get an error message when you try to print. This video will show you how to set up printers in IntelliDocs. Before you start, you'll need to be sure that your computer has been set up to print to at least one printer. If you can run a program like Microsoft Word or the Outlook email software and print something from there, you should be able to print from IntelliDocs too. But if you don't have any printers to select from in those programs, or if the printer you want to use for IntelliDocs doesn't show up on the list, talk to the person who set up your computer or who runs your network and ask them to set up the printer for you in Windows. In IntelliDocs, you select the printer or printers you want to use by clicking the Setup button, which looks like a printer. You may need to scroll through the buttons on the right side of the IntelliDocs toolbar to find the Setup button. There are lots of options here, but most people only need to worry about one or two of them. The Chart Info slash Queued Printer field is where you select the printer that you want to use for almost everything you'll print from IntelliDocs including items that you print from patients' charts. The printer you select here will also be used when you click the Queued button to print transcription that's been approved by the provider. To choose a printer, just click over here at the right. From the list of printers that appears, click on the one you want to use to print items out of patients' charts. Again, if the printer you want to use for that doesn't show up on this list, or you're not sure which printer is which, Get in touch with the person who set up your computer or who runs your office's computer network. If you print prescriptions from IntelliDocs, you'll also want to select a Scripps printer. You do that the same way you chose the Chart Info printer. Just click over here at the right, then click the printer that's used for prescriptions. Most people can leave the rest of these printers as undefined. If you use the Queued button to print transcription, and you want to have a choice of printers to use for that, you can set up the Queued Printer number 2 and number 3 options. The Envelope Printer option is rarely used, but if your practice has specially configured iPaper forms that are used to create form letters and optional mailing envelopes, this is where you'd select the printer used for the envelopes. If your practice uses the Item Tracker feature to keep track of items that have been borrowed from or lent to other practices, and you need to print out labels for these items, you'd use the Item Tracker Label Printer field to set that. If you get Error 484 messages when you try to print, you can check the This Machine Gets 484 Errors box to see if that helps resolve the problem. Otherwise, leave this box unchecked. You should only check the Use Advanced Printer Handling box if Microsoft Word documents from patients' charts take a long time to start printing. Otherwise, leave this box unchecked. And if you are having printing problems, be sure to mention that to the person who set up your computer or who runs your network. When you've selected the printers you want to use, click the Save These Choices button. You should now be able to print from IntelliDocs. If you have any questions about selecting printers in IntelliDocs, please send us email at support at busynet.com or give us a call at 918-858-4440, voicemail option number 2.